Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. So today's video I'm going to be talking about water retention and fluid retention in the body. What some of the symptoms are, what are some things that you can do to help prevent this from happening to your body. The reason why I'm doing this video is because this morning I woke up and I felt like my face and my body was a bit more poofy and swollen than yesterday and I was trying to think back at what I did differently last night and what kind of foods I was eating and what could cause me to wake up and you can probably tell on my face is a bit it's a bit more swollen and um, and I wanted to show you guys on camera because you you can see in my previous videos my face is not as as poofy so last night I met up with a friend and I had I had a glass of wine and I had some nachos with salsa and I had some popcorn now these are all gluten and dairy free products but the one thing is that they contain a high sodium and salt content. Edema is a condition where your body retains fluids and uh, I'm going to show you guys later on in the video what it actually looks like and what are some ways you can see whether your body is retaining water. Edema can be caused by a lot of different things. It can be caused by stress, by high blood pressure, by eating high salty foods. Ways that you can help to reduce the water retention in your body is by avoiding salty foods. Um, also by eating more potassium. So bananas contain a lot of potassium. I usually have the banana in my oatmeal in the morning and it gives me a little boost of energy and I know I'm getting my potassium the natural way. Um, something else that can help is turmeric. So incorporating turmeric in your cooking, so you can either put it in your soups, in your stews. I like to make lentils, so I'll boil lentils with water and onion and garlic and I'll put a little bit of turmeric in it. And turmeric is an anti-inflammatory spice and it will help to reduce any inflammation in the body. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what it looks like and how you can tell whether you have it. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I can tell I have edema. Um, you, can, you can do a test on yourself to see if you do have it. So basically you just take your two fingers, go down to your ankle, and just press on your skin. You see how you can see some marks that are showing up around my leg and my calf? That's an indication that there is some fluid retention and some water that is happening in the body. I hope this video helped.